deal, but the fact that you have had less available for some games this year, you know, in any way, does that help when, when you are this shorthanded for a game? Yeah, I don't think uh, our guys um, are shocked or, you know, um, caught off guard by anything this year uh, because we've had to deal with, with so much uh, and the schedule doesn't stop. Um, so you have to continue uh, to stay ready and whoever's available um, you get after. I know our guys are, are looking forward to it. Thank you, Eric. Um, next we have Ira Winderman. Eric, I know we can't speak specifics, nor do I want to, but just the emotion of the day. You've been through this a lot. You spoke to us Tuesday about how it's a reality of the NBA. What's it like, and what's it like in the locker room, and what's it like to have to play within hours of all of that? I'm sure there's a lot of emotions, uh, you know, for everybody, and, and the range of emotions are different depending on uh, what your circumstance is, and that, that's the reality. There's a human side to it for sure. Um, and then there's the business side of it, and, and you have to be able to compartmentalize the two uh, and uh, and be ready, um, you know, for competition when, when it happens. Uh, you know, and these the the actual day, you know, tends, uh, you know, there, there's usually a lot more hype, and then you know, uh, a, a lot less action than than what is speculated, and that was probably true this year as well. And then just from the standpoint, the league's been good and they moved the deadline up earlier in the day, but still to have games on a day like today, and you see a ton of teams with players who therefore are inactive and shorthanded, does it make it tough to have a game on deadline day like this so soon to everything else and being limited? Yeah, I don't know. I, you know, I don't even know if that's something that's been talked about with the competition uh, committee. I'd have to give that a little bit more thought. Fair enough. Thank you. Uh, next we have Jason Jackson. Coach, it's been uh, 13 years. I think you had not, uh, I think it was your last year as an assistant, the last time the Heat lost a four-game homestand, and, and how much emphasis you put on, you know, playing well here uh, specifically. Uh, the, the challenge tonight uh, is obvious and in front of you, uh, but, but having that type of historical space, which I'm sure you have not thought about, uh, how much of that uh, impacts trying to nail down a W tonight? Yeah, you know, you, you can't make it bigger than, than what it is, you know, um, because one, each game is different uh, and each opponent uh, is different. Everybody in our locker room uh, wants to play well at a high level uh, and put ourselves in a position to win. And, you know, the competition has something to say about that, you know, on, on, on any given night. Uh, and that's the challenge and the beauty of, of this game. And, and we have a team that's, uh, you know, coming in here, that's uh, been very good this year. Uh, dynamic, you know, in the way they play, the shooting and skill. Uh, we know we have a, a challenge, and uh, we want to get after it. Okay. Okay, Sorry, next. Coach. Uh, one more. Yep. One more here. One more. Uh, Will Manso. Hey, Coach, just as a follow-up earlier, you mentioned the emotion of the day. Uh, I'm curious, though, do you feel that maybe certain guys that have, whether intentionally or not, through friends, through social media, whatever, have been caught up in some of the talk, can now maybe let their guard down, take a deep breath, and know they're here for the long haul, the rest of this grind of the season? Um, yeah, I can't I can't speak uh, to you know, how people were feeling. I just know that there's, there's a human side to it, and that's natural. Um, and, and that's okay. And now to, to have whatever emotions uh, that you feel uh, and are going through it. Um, but it's behind us now. Uh, and now everybody can focus on the task at hand. And, you know, we have some work to do, obviously, uh, the next uh, three months. All right. Thanks, Coach. Uh, 